this and a bit of that. That's a great thing. Just how draws in. Hail enough oxygen with this candle. You can use a okay, so I can get some oxygen off that as well. Oh, there's some physics. Let me see that sick and tight me up there. Right, so. I need to have a drink in a minute, that's fine. So I've got all these right now. Oh, I can make a grabber finally. Might as well just make one of them anyway. I don't have one yet. No, I don't. So we have a grabber now for whatever purpose that has. Refined metal. I haven't got any metal to refine right now. Okay. Right, well, that's that's sort of like proving things that I thought that, that, you know, just exploring will gain you stuff. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make... Oh, I haven't got any ice. Oh, okay, fine. All right, let's go get some ice. That's food. That's food. And some ice. I might just float down here again, because I know there's... I'm pretty sure there's more stuff down here. Because I could just drop into the uh, the oxygen place and... Bob's your uncle, really. So what do these things do? They require a lot of uh, mining. But I don't know what they give you. We'll soon find out. Nothing! Oh, great. Thanks, game. <laughs> Literally nothing. <clears throat> okay, well, I can cut them and get some rubber. Give me the oxygen, please. Thank you. Give me some rubber. Is there anything below me? Because well, there was like a... Oh, there's a place over there which I can float to. Looking for ice. Lovely. Oh my god. Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. I don't think there's anything else around this area. Oh wait, I can probably cut these. Okay, or not. <clears throat> there's definitely nothing else in here. <clears throat> wait, what was that? Oh, that's the oxygen station that's floating around. Right, let's go over to this other place over here. I think I'm close enough. Oh, I don't know actually, that's quite far away. Am I close enough for this? I think I am. I know this just has like random stuff in it. I'm pretty sure this just has a load of like. There's a dead guy there. Of um. It looks like a mail delivery shuttle. Surely he was carrying a lot of useless things, most of which were stolen before loading. Oh god, these are. In fact, these are recyclable. This is a lot of uh. Oh, cool. Suitcase. Oh crap. What does that mean? Have a quick bit to drink. What have you got on you, mate? Anything good? I don't know. Oh, Christ. Oh, crap. Where's the thing? Just around here, right? <clears throat> I know. I'm working on it. Oh, I don't want to die. It's down here, I think. Yes, there it is. Quick! Door! You just push yourself off this thing, wouldn't you? And just <clears throat> straight through. Four. Three. Two, one, there. Woo -wee. That was close. A spacious travel suitcase. If you have on the suitcase, there's no internal compartments, secure locks, wheels, retractable handles, or competitors. <laughs> right, let's go back up top and uh need to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Okay. We can probably see if we can figure out some other areas as well. Maybe go up and above. Not really looks behind me yet. Or even over there. I've done some looking over there, but not much. Sneezing in a space you probably is the best idea. No, you're probably right now, actually, yeah. You're not wrong. Objects. So I can make suitcases now. So I have this. I think I remember used last time just having it on here. Oh, for God's sake, that clearly doesn't place exactly where you actually put it, does it? There we go. 
like, oh, there's a lot of space in this one. So I might use the suitcase to store just like the useless crap. So like all these pictures. Uh, and such. Because I don't really care where this goes. As I don't even know if I can pick it up. I think I can actually. I think I can pick it up when there's stuff in it. Oh, so maybe that is the... Maybe that is the way to do it. Maybe I should put all the useless, the useful things, sorry, in the suitcase. Um, like all the water, and let's put the grabby thing in there. Let's put some alcohol in it. There's the grabby thing. Back scratcher, sorry, not the grabby thing. Make some water. Um, do I need to make some of that? I might make some anyway, just I've got it. I think it does, yeah, it makes two large ones into a smaller one, so it's not too bad, actually. Kick a roll of fabric. Does the same? No, okay. But it uses, like, three, I think, so it's not too bad. I can actually make one... Where is it? One of these things. Oxygen station. We'll make one. Might come in handy. How made unit of batteries using oxygen based on the hydrolysis? It heats up so much that it's spin up to touch or disassemble it. The station would have stuck of hydrogen or something else. Okay. So I got to put that near something which is going to be beneficial to me, I think. Because right now, that's nothing. Nothing at all. So, what I might. Oh, I, I assume that's how it works. I don't actually recall. I might float towards that thing there or should i go to wait what's that i don't know what that is that engine meters away let's go over here oh here we go let's go over to this first i don't want to go somewhere because i'm pretty adamant it's it produces oxygen i don't want to go somewhere that's actually really nearby and it's a complete waste of my time putting it there if that makes sense All right, let's just grab this and see what we've got over here oh seems they were playing some brain cracking game very funny Extendo. <laughs> sure. Mortal Wombat. Oh my god. Mortal Wombat, guys. Cruelty, because according to statistics, most criminals played them at least once. All criminals drink water <laughs> and use toilet paper, which makes it possible to draw an TV conclusion about your criminal inclinations. Honey. What for honey for? Let's make another one of soon. Be some water. Okay, so we've got a more. Oh, great, we've got some more blueprints. I don't know how much metal I've got on me though, so I can't really make another one of these yet. And I'm gonna need one. Cause it's about to go. Bum bum, bum bum. Oh Christ! Is this in the entrance? Oh God! There we go. Let me in. There we go. Okay. Jesus Christ. What does it say? The dream of all guys on all the planet. Blood, guts, half-naked chicks and steel muscles of the wombat. The guys need when he's 15. <laughs> um, okay, let's pop that in here. I don't know how useful these kind of things are. I'm assuming not very. So we're going to leave them in here. And I need to float somewhere and build that. Oh god, I haven't got any metal, have I? I need to find some metal. <laughs> Leave me alone. Cut me some slack. Uh, right, let's get some metal first. Oh no, I'm not going to have enough durability to get this in mine. Yeah, actually, can I make first aid kits? Oh, sweet package. Packet of melted honey. When eating, it won't smear your hands. Gives me more hunger, but it reduces. Um, thingy. Let's 
So yeah, I need to make I need to make these. As soon as I find the lead paint. I am really tempted to float down there. I need to just go somewhere where there's, right, there's metal there. I can see metal there. Did you try to overcome radiation without spacey? Must try to <laughs> save it. Alright, love. Calm down. I'll get to you eventually. Whoever you are. <clears throat> I can't actually break anything because like, my, my thing's not got enough use out of it. This thing will break sooner. Well, I know I've been down here. I'm just gonna, can I break this? Yes, I can. Metal. Sweet. Um... Oh, nice. Light bulb. Yeah, totally. No, can't break that. Looking for metal. Just floaty bits of metal. I need one more. I'm good to go. To make another thing. Floaty bits of metal. Metal. Are you metal? Oh, you're plastic. Oh, I've lost it now. God damn it. Where the hell's the... Oh, I'm so lost. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty sure Babe is the AI that caused the crash. You're probably not wrong there, actually. You are probably not wrong. Okay, I just need to find more metal. It's just little bits floating around as opposed to these hunks of junk that I've got here. There you go. Ah, oh, no, it's got. Ah, oh, there's a bit. Oh, a couple of bits. Lovely. Can at least make another one of these. Maybe I can mine. How far are these? So the fire is 600 meters away. Have I been? I have been in there, yeah. There's more there. Might as well get it while I'm out. Uh. Hello, Aiden. How you doing, man? Yeah, this is a survival space game with lots of sort of comic elements to it. It's a funny little bits and bobs. It's very strange. But it's good fun. It's surprisingly good fun. Played it ages ago. Like, way over a year ago, I think I played this game. Loved it to bits, because it's just so stupid. Right, handy scrapper. I need a handy scrapper. <clears throat> Right, so I've got my handy scrapper, I've got, I still need to just find lead paint. That's the thing I'm needing the most, the lead paint. Yeah, it's an awesome game, I appreciate you coming in dude. Thank you for the uh, gifted subs the other day, very much, uh, very much appreciate it. That was back before you had a house. I know! It was ages ago, it's pre-house. Oh, I need to drink, holy crap. Right, okay, so let's do three and four and we'll have a, get a nice bit of drinking going on there, lovely. Let me take, right, let me store, but take one of them. So I've got my handy scrapper, I've got my grabber, which I don't actually know what it does. I have narrow holes, okay. I might make some nutritious, just make some food. What happened to the crap imposed by the developers? It's right there! The crap imposed by the developers is right there, leaning up against the wall. Being all good and proper. Oh yeah, it needs ice, doesn't it? I always forget about the food needs ice too. I might store some okay, what I'll do is I'm gonna store some of these batteries while I'll put them in the in here. Same with the plastic, same with the wire. In fact, I'm gonna store all the plastic and wire in here. <clears throat> and the fabric. And that. I don't need any of these actually on me right now. I guess I guess I should just free up as much space as humanly possible, really. So then I can go off and explore and pick up as much as humanly possible. <clears throat> so, hang on a minute. What I'm going to do... F let's get that on there. Let's get my handy scrapper on one. Drill on three. Actually. Scanner on three. So what we're going to do is... We're going to head down over there... Whatever that is. We're going to head over there. I'm pretty sure lead paint's in there. I 
go down there as well. We've got so many places to go. We're going to head down there. I'm going to try and set one of these oxygen stations and see if it does what I think it does. Because I honestly don't recall. So we're going to float this way and probably go through it. And as far that way as we can go before we get any blue. kind of issues. These are the rescuers. Given that the evacuation shuttles have increased strength, the impact force must have been incredible. What's this? The rescuer spacesuits are like funerary ones, but I always wanted to learn how their flashlights work if they don't flashlight. require recharging. I propose we loot the corpse for scientific purposes. Okay, so we've got a flashlight now. That's good. I'll come back here in a bit. I'm going to keep floating down here, though. Maybe, like, as close to this stuff as I can. And then stick one of these doohicks out. Because I think, if I remember correctly, I just use it to top up my oxygen. I think. <clears throat> but if I can put it down here, it'll just mean that I've got a nice little spot. I'm actually pretty sure this is where the exact one. If not, I'm gonna die. Station doesn't explode. Your engineering skills are reconsidered. I recommend that you investigate the immediate vicinity. Ah, it does. Lovely. Oh, beautiful. That's exactly what I thought it did do. That's 500 oxygen. Sweet. Result. Let's get some ice. You must eat food. Yeah, all right, babe. Calm down. Okay, what do we got over here? What are you guys? The safe is private property, and the global funeral agency is indifferent to the effect Scan of retina. The Red Edge Global Funeral <laughs> Agency. We oh. can't your reputation. Oh, do you reckon I have to drag, like, a person over here or something? Wait, what's that? Oh, it could be that. Anything else around here that I could just grab of any immediate interest? This is all going to be loads of rubber, isn't it? There's apparently, um... Uh, radiation down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in there is where you get the, um, uh, the lead paint from. I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, well, I could, can dismantle it, although it might hurt me. So probably not going to be a very good idea. Anyway, let's see what that is. I wonder if that is a person I could drag up here. Or rip his eye out or something like that, I don't know. I don't remember any of this. Oh, uh. smuggler's eye. Lovely. Engaged in legal, uh, legal, what? Crash, judging that it's the paint on his hands and a huge hose stuck to his face. He says he has paint. That's going to neutralize electricity. Poor chap. He's absolutely annihilated. Metal. Right, we're going to scan the thing. I don't know what I don't know what's in it, but we can go and scan the thing now. <clears throat> I need up, uh, ice, so let's get some ice. Got Twenty something oxygen. I have to go back to the oxygen thing before I go. Love the chickens holding it. Lead paint. Ooh, got one piece of lead paint. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if there's any more near it. So I love space and was terrified of it. Yeah, it's it's kind of this that endless expanse of nothingness, I think, which um tends to terrify most people about space. It is just just endless just nothing. Endless drift you know, you could drift for the rest of your life and make no progress sort of sort of situation. It's quite it's quite crazy. What's this over here? It's just another another piece. Let's just see if there's anything good in this. So I know that by having that lead paint, I can actually make a... I don't know any glass... I'm going to have to store the lead paint, I think. Because, um... Yeah, I'm going to probably need that. <clears throat> Got some weird kind of vertigo going on. Oh, I know what you mean. It's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. This game of VR, though, would be kind of mad. God, I've used so much of this. I need to get those, like, booster things. I don't know where you're getting from, though. Oh, oceans are weird. So I think one of my, like, actual fears in life is uh, is deep water. Do not like the idea of deep water. It's probably one of the few things I'm actually scared of. Like, I'm fine playing, like, Sea of Thieves, but I, I, I don't think I could, like, jump in an ocean just, like, off the back of a boat and be fine with it. I'd be like, no, <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna stay here where I can see what's going on. I'm not about to jump off into, uh... If the ocean was clear, then maybe. But, no. 
If not, screw that. I'm good. Thanks. Bye. Kind of situation. What is this? Is it plastic? Okay. Right, let's pop back up. <clears throat> let's go and see... What was that? Thalas Thalassophobia. Is that what it's called? I just don't like the idea of just looking... It's like endless looking down into nothingness. I think in space you've kind of got... There's always that. So it's 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 kind of a familiar sight, if you know what I mean. You've always got the stars you can kind of see, I guess. Which is the kind of familiar sight that I, I feel like would probably make it marginally better. What is this? A flashlight. Oh, I have a light bulb. Chest-mounted battery power flashlight. Does not shine for long and constantly discharges. If you put it in your mouth, your cheeks will turn red. <laughs> to make a extremely useful piece of equipment. Lovely. Composite resources. Lead paint. Paint and lead. Great. <laughs> Thanks, obviously. Uh, okay. So I still need glass, at least. So let's store this lead paint, because I know I'm going to need that in the future. Store you. I've got loads of ice now. So if I grab some of this. Don't go scuba diving then. I enjoyed it when I was in Cyprus 10 years ago. No, I, th I think I'd be fine scuba diving because I know I've got breathing apparatus and it wouldn't really, like, there's nothing to kind of, like... I think that'd be the greatest way to get over that as, a, as an actual fear. is just to go scuba diving. What do you call a fear of um, big places? But it's not claustrophobia, it'd be... Openophobia. There you go. Murky water. So you just don't have the idea about not being able to see. Why is that there? Not being able to see, basically. I'd say. Just store all this. Actually, we'll keep the ice. So, I've got the light bulb. Actually, let's take the light bulb and... Actually, well, yeah, what did I need for the, for the flashlight? Let's just make the flashlight because we might as well. Battery and plastic, okay. Agrophobia. Uh, plastic, battery. So I need to find glass. What am I doing? Here we go. Flashlight. So do I have to stick this on me or? <clears throat> ah. Lovely. Flashlight charge plus 24. I don't know how you turn it on. Not a clue how you turn on the flashlight. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, it's... Right, okay, it's the middle button. Okay, cool. So... Let's put you in as well. You still not die? It is so grief. <laughs> right, let's store food and stuff in this one for the time being as well. I've got the guy's eye still, which is lovely. Right, so I need to find glass. That's my next kind of main thing. I want to say great, not grief, not my language. Let's have a look down here. Oh, here we go. What's this? We've got, I've not been to this one yet. This is that. This is a toilet here. That was in the video, toilet I think. Detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Judging by the amount of joy around, this yeah, is the debris in the liner's water. public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. Dead hamster. Poor fellow, for some reason there's always been a lot of these rodents. But the runaway multiplier, they're especially bred. I don't know, but I think there's still a lot of them. Just a dead freaking hamster. <laughs> Look <at> his face. <laughs> Hammond! Isn't that what the guy in uh, Overwatch is called, Hammond? <laughs>